um, you'd be amazed how much you don't even notice the, the stuff. You know, like a lot of it happens behind us, or we don't get the benefit of it because we're we're positioned in the in the stage. So it's just um, it's just part of the show now. So I, I mean, we've been asked that a few times, but it's hard to say. I mean, I think initially the the hardest thing for my character was um, the physicality of trying to get that right. I hurt myself, and ironically, it wasn't. It was not the technical stuff that, that bothered me, because what we do it, um, kind of involves just on a human level. You know, there's all the technical aspects that we have in where we interact with other humans, and they might be lifting us or throwing us, and that they're difficult to, to get right. But the, the machinery is run so well by the stage management, it's like an army back there, and just having perfect. Like, we, we barely notice it. Hmm. I would say also <coughs> that. To some degree, each of us had to, I'll only speak for myself, but I know it's true on some level for the rest of them too, um, combat the, uh, the feeling of needing to live up to the actors who did it in the film. And um, I, I think the way that you do that is to make it your own from the get-go. And I, I don't think any of us watched the film after we got the part. Um, I know I watched it before my initial audition. I haven't seen it since. And that's not... a you know, that's not out of spite or cockiness or anything. It's just because at a certain point you have to decide to make it your own and trust that you have enough to bring your own um, artistry to bear on, on, on the story. So I think we've each probably um, been up against that a few times.